Alright guys, so today's the day we're going to install the coilovers for the front of the car uh, and if we have time we'll do the rears. So here we have for the front suspension. So I haven't set the preload yet. Uh, I need to measure the spring from right here on the edge to the bottom. Uh, they do recommend setting it about two millimeters uh, less than what the actual spring is. So all I have to do is just literally tighten this and just tighten it up to two millimeters. So I'm gonna use my coilover um, measuring tool and it has the millimeters on there so I know how much I need. So I'm gonna do that right now. So measuring from the edge all the way out here, it says it's 20. Um, that's pretty much 200 millimeters. So I gotta go ahead and tighten it down two millimeters because they recommend it being at 198. Um, I'm gonna do that right now, but I can do it on the car afterwards. I just figured I'd show you guys on the camera. This is the small one. This can be the small one. loosening the bottom perch and now we're gonna go ahead and tighten this two millimeters oh. all right so it just took a feet like literally one whole turn maybe two to get it perfectly at 198 millimeter so I'm gonna go ahead and just tighten this down I'm gonna just make sure everything is tightened later on on the car. Please enjoy the video. Uh, hopefully there are some footage that I will pick up that's decent. But yeah, let's get this started. Alright guys, it's been a very, very tiring night, but I finally got the car done. I put the rears in. It was equally as easy as the front. When you go into the little gas area where the strut's sitting at, you can use extensions and get to it and some magnetic tools to hold onto the bolt so you don't lose it. Or you just take the neck out. I didn't take the gasoline neck out. I left it alone and just, you know, dealt with it the hard way. But here's how the car looks. The rear is lowered just slight and the front is very, very close to stock. So it's about two finger gap all around, but I'm going to lower this about half an inch uh, tomorrow. And then hopefully the, the rake will go slightly down in the front so it doesn't look so so monster truck, so four by four. But I'm not really trying to like slam the car. I want to drive it, I want to have it function. I also don't want to destroy the fender liner or have bacon fender. I just want to keep it functional. I don't want to do too much modifications at all to the fenders. I want to keep it stock as possible, but the fact that I got S2K spec Mugen wheels uh, I won't have any problems. So, let's do a quick walk around on the car and I'll show you how it looks like. Alright, here's the front as you can see. Pretty close to what the stock was. Um, so, I'm going to correct that tomorrow. Going on to the side. Here's the rear. I can definitely tell that it's a lot lower. Um, before, I can probably put like three to four fingers in there. Uh, right now, it's just perfect in my opinion. So, just the front needs to go down a little bit. There you go. Still kind of sitting high, but it's gonna go down tomorrow. And here is the rear on the driver's side. 
some odd reason this side is a lot higher than the other side um, I don't know why but I got to figure that out I want to assume that the car naturally is designed to compensate for the driver to sit in so when you do sit in it it'll be even on both sides I don't know I gotta do some research on that I don't know why just that corner doesn't really match to that side it's about half an inch to an inch off um, I made sure all the measurements were perfect so that's some troubleshooting I gotta go through tomorrow but the car is looking phenomenal um, probably gonna put the top on uh, eventually I just don't know yet it's, just been, it's been sitting here as you can see and plus I need another person to help me out which I'll probably wait until my girlfriend gets here this weekend right now we're just drop top trying to enjoy the weather that Florida has given us for fall it's a little breezy out not as hot hope you enjoyed this video this is gonna end it right here uh, I'm very happy that I got the coolovers on it's been taunting me that I had it for about a few weeks and I haven't put it on yet so now that it's on uh, I'm gonna enjoy the car a lot more hopefully no more thumping in the back that's what I had on the rear suspension on the AP1 stock suspension um, I don't know if that's like a common stiffness thing or it might have been blown on one of them I just don't know uh, but right now uh, I just like give it another day relax a little bit tomorrow we're gonna come in and fine-tune the suspension make a couple measurements and hopefully everything is all good so uh, until the next video I'll see you then peace